The Disney Skyliner Gondola System, a sleek new mode of transportation beginning its operation in Walt Disney World next year. Connecting two parks with four resort hotels, not only will this system provide us with never before seen views around property, it's also expected to get you to your destination faster than ever before. Over the last year, we've seen this gondola system come together with the pace at which Disney has constructed the stations and the hundreds of gondola columns in between being nothing short of remarkable. Despite all of this, there's been a fly in the ointment since day one with the Disney Skyliner system, and that is the air conditioning. At first, the question of air conditioning a Disney transportation system that places you inside a steel contraption in the direct heat of the Florida sun isn't a question at all. Of course, Disney is going to air condition the gondolas, but that's the thing. From everything we know right now, they aren't. After months of Disney insiders going back and forth on the topic of whether or not the Disney Skyliner gondolas will be air conditioned, finally, most have reached a conclusion. It turns out that the AC, said to be included in each gondola car, according to the internal documents, is in fact a lowercase AC, which doesn't stand for air conditioning, but rather air circulation. Air circulation is different from air conditioning because rather than having a unit on top of the gondola car that generates cold air, cooling the cabin automatically, air circulation instead uses the available air to passively cool the guests in inside the gondola car via air vents. This means as the gondola moves, air is moving through the cabin, providing fresh air and theoretically managing the temperature all on its own. When this realization of no AC on the gondolas was made by members of the Disney community, further confirmed by the absence of any air conditioning unit on the Skyliner gondola test car Disney is currently using to ensure the gondolas fit in each station, many rush to the defense of there being no air conditioning. The theory goes as follows. Since the Skyliner gondolas will be going 11 miles per hour, or perhaps even faster, some even say 16 miles per hour, not only will the speed of the gondolas be pushing plenty of fresh air through the vents and into the cabin, cooling the guests throughout the ride, but also, even if the circulation wasn't enough and it was getting hot in there, the maximum travel time between two Disney Skyliner stops, the Riviera to Epcot line, is five minutes or less. Other lines are even shorter, with estimated travel times all the way down to two minutes or maybe even less than that. So the idea is, since you're on the gondolas so briefly and since they'll be going so quickly, not only will you likely be cooled throughout the ride, but also you'll only be in that gondola car for a very short while. These are all good points, but there is one huge asterisk here. This whole argument is assuming normal operation. The thing is, we all know Disney doesn't play in their transportation systems around normal operation. In the interest of guest safety, Disney always wants to ensure they're prepared for that one time the system isn't under normal operation, where the system gets emergency stopped, with guests potentially sitting in gondola cars hanging on the line directly in the exposure of the sweltering Florida sun for a duration that could be a lot more than five minutes. Whether it's guest capacity reasons or cost-related reasons, it appears Disney has opted against air conditioning for the Skyliner system. So the question becomes, in that inevitable once in a blue moon case in which the system isn't operating normally, how does Disney ensure guests don't get too hot in these enclosed gondolas? Disney can choose to go with the method they use for their other modes of transportation by having an additional window vent guests can open to allow more air into the cabin. This is a serious possibility as the Doppelmayr Omega 4 vehicles Disney is deploying are manufactured with glass faces on every side from top to bottom. But in the Disney Skyliner concept art, there appears to be a metal bar cross-secting the glass near the top of the gondola cabin. Could that perhaps be a separate piece of glass guests can open up top to let cool air in as well as let warm air out? As far as why air conditioning wouldn't be included in the Skyliner system to begin with, while the first thought that comes to mind is budget, those AC units wouldn't be cheap, do consider the fact that the Skyliner system is already projected to be under severe, strenuous guest demand, especially when everyone tries to leave a park and board the system all at once, like after Illuminations, or rather the new show replacing Illuminations, where guests spending the day over in Galaxy's Edge may take the Skyliner over to Epcot to catch the new fireworks show, resulting in all of the connected Epcot guests and many Hollywood Studios guests who all went over to see the new show, all trying to get back on the Skyliner system all at once through a single station, which has a small ramp making up its entire queuing space. Point being, guest capacity is very important for the system, so putting as many cars as possible on the Skyliner 
liner wire, where it is still safe as far as the weight on the line goes, but also as efficient as possible is in Disney's best interest. Not having those clunky air conditioning units on the top of every gondola car is sure to free up weight on the wire for more cars and therefore more guests being able to use the system at any given time, which could signal a major shift in the way Disney measures their success in the parks moving forward. For the last five years or so, with stifling attendance growth, Disney has focused mainly on guest comfort, adding more perks for annual pass holders, offering park guests extra paid events, harnessing the power of the current guests by getting each of them to spend more, raising guest revenues that way, versus trying to get as many guests as possible into the parks at any given time. With Galaxy's Edge on the way though, and the huge projected crowds there, it's quite possible the pendulum could start going back the other way towards perhaps Disney catering the transportation and park offerings to support a larger number of guests rather than focusing on the existing guests spending more. No matter the final vision that comes to life next year with the Disney Skyliner gondola system, it's safe to make one thing clear. Which does Disney value most, guest quantity or guest quality? From the Mickey Views Magic Studio, I'm Braden Holness. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more like it in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know the next time we drop a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a magical day.